Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we'll be testing the Creality Falcon 2 Pro 40 watt laser. Um, when you buy the 40 watt Pro, you end up getting a 1.6 watt laser that's free. It's like a gift they're giving you. We're going to compare the two lasers. Um, my understanding is that the 1.6 is better for some, better for detail. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a couple of tests, compare the two details, and see how see how it works out. Um, I'm a noob. Sorry, that's what I am. I'm totally new to all this stuff. I'm light burn, laser engraving, laser cutting. I was asked to give this a try, and I said, sure, why not? What am I going to lose, you know? Just a little bit of my time. But, I mean, I'm having a fun time doing this, so thank you. Let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is connect my, my laser engraver. We'll go ahead and go to laser tools. We'll do a material test. 7,500. Power will go from 5% to 30%. Then preview it. Make sure it's on fill. We'll go ahead and frame it. Hit start. All right. Now that it's done, post the results. Recommended settings is 6,000, around 20. I'm liking around 6611, according to this sheet. 6611 at 27, so probably around 6600. By 27. All right, let's load a picture and engrave it. All right, we're going to go ahead and import the image. I have one on my desktop. I'll import. Nothing's been done to this image. Oh, zoomed in. Uh, let's go ahead and shrink it down to 100. Like I was saying, nothing's been done to this image, so this is my first time. This is my first time trying to do a wood burn photo. Adjust image. I don't know why it popped on my other screen. Radius up a little bit. Going by other videos I've seen. Jarvis, hit OK. Um, bring my camera control up. See if we get that overlay on there. Bring the picture down here, this corner. Go ahead and frame it out. Now, owned by those settings I had earlier, we're going to do six thousand six hundred by twenty four percent power. Let's see what happens. We'll close the lid and let it run. Show you the results when we're done. All right. So overall, I ended up doing three pictures. One was darker. The other one was darker. This one came out a little better. I'll show you the results. And now we're going to switch to the 1.6 laser. All right, we're back. With the 1.6 laser, let's do a material test. 
I'm not too familiar with this laser. I'm going to start at a thousand and we'll go to 3000. 10% to 100% power. Text a thousand by 50 should be okay. Oh, you know what? We're going to let this go to 4,000. Go ahead and send it home and frame it. Close the lid. We'll let it run. We'll see what happens. I'll be back with the results. Now that it's done, I'll go ahead and show you the results. And we'll go ahead and um, engrave a picture. Close this out. File new. Import the picture. Break it down to 100. Like we did the first time. Bring it down here. Bring it in Jarvis. Okay, go ahead and set image according to what we had. Looking at this, I think I'm going to do three thousand at seventy percent. Go to camera control, update overlay, make sure it's on the board. Make sure it's homed. Now that it's home, I'll close the lid. And we'll go ahead and hit start. I'll show you when it's done. All right, now that it's done, take a look at it. I'll post the picture of it. Um, looks good. I mean, for someone that doesn't know what he's doing, it came out pretty darn good. It actually came out better than the 40 watt, but I think that's because it's just a little lighter. It allows more detail. For this next one, we're going to do something with fine, fine text, I should say. It's a Pokemon card. The text on it, I was struggling with the 40 watt laser, and I'll show you the difference. Um, let me go ahead and get set up, get it imported, and um, we'll go from there. All right, now that I got it imported, let's get things set up. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do the red text, just the writing. The writing came out horrible with the 40 watt. We'll see what the 1.6 can do. All right, we'll go to cuts and layers. Since we're only going to work with the red one, the text, we'll go ahead and hide everything else. Go ahead and set our speed and our power. We will home the printer, go to camera control, update our overlay. We'll go ahead and position the text and then we'll start the project. After it's finished, I'll go ahead and show you the results. We'll be back. 
Now that it's done, we'll go ahead and copy this. Well, let's just go ahead and move it over, I guess. We'll move it over to the side. We'll connect the 40 watt laser and we'll get started. I went ahead and clicked update overlay. You can see the one that we did with the 1.6 watt. We'll go ahead and put our settings here for the 40 watt. We'll go ahead and set our speed to 6000. We'll turn off the air assist and 25 for power. We'll go ahead and start it, let it run and I'll show you the results when it's done. Do the magic of fast forwarding and pausing. It's done. Um, I'm going to go take a look. It doesn't look that great, but I think it's because it's way too dark. I'm going to go ahead and set up another one. We'll go ahead and um, test it one more time, make it a little lighter. This way it's a better compare. We'll go ahead and move it up and rotate it. Get into position. Go ahead and set our cut layer. This time we'll do 6,000 by 20%. All right, we'll go ahead and start it and then I'll show you the results. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Take a look at what we got. First one I'm gonna show is gonna be the 1.6. Very legible. This is the 40 watt, but the darker version of it. And then the next one will be the 40 watt, the lighter version of it. Lighter version didn't come out too bad, but still not as sharp as the 1.6. I went ahead and took a macro photo. I got them side by side. Left side is 1.6. The right side is the 40 watt. 1.6 is clearly your winner on small text. All right, before I put this project to rest, I got one more thing I want to do. We're going to go ahead and print the whole card. We're going to do the 40 watt first. We'll go ahead and set our cut settings. Make sure 6,000 by 25. We'll go ahead and update the overlay. We'll center the card. Oops. We'll go ahead and home it. Once it's home, we'll go ahead and give it a start. Show you the results when it's done. All right, now that it's done, let's go grab it, take a look at it. And I'll post a picture of it. Overall, it looks pretty good. Um, we'll get a side-by-side -side comparison after we do 1.6. We'll go ahead and set the laser up to do the 1.6, and I'll be right back. All right, we got the 1.6 laser module on there. We have the card set up to print. We'll go ahead and home it. We'll run it, and I'll show you the results when it's done. All right, we're at 99%, just about done. Oh, there we go, it's done. Let's go ahead and pull it off. I'll post a picture and we'll see what the results are. Yes, this definitely looks a lot sharper. Um, I don't think my picture does any justice. I'm gonna go ahead and post a picture of them side by side.
All right, moving on to something a little smaller. I have a tag. These little black tags I have. Um, I'll go ahead and show you a picture of one. I did this tag for a different project, and I thought it came up pretty good. But um, I gotta say, when I use the 1.6 on it, there's almost a day and night difference between the two. All right, let's get started with this one. We're gonna go ahead and take the character off this card. All right, let me go place my tag. Go ahead and update the camera overlay to show the tag. Go ahead and move them over, get them to fit, resize it. Great thing about having this light burn camera. Absolutely awesome to have it. We'll go to cuts and layers, set our power and speed. But once again, I'm not sure what my power level should be. We'll start low and see what happens. We'll go ahead and do 25. We'll go ahead and make sure it's home and click start and I'll show you the results. All right, just about done, 99%. As soon as it's done, I'll go ahead and post the results. All right, here's the results of this one. Um, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the first one I did to show you the difference. Looking at the difference of these two, I mean, it's day and night. I didn't realize the 40 watt was that far off until I put it under a macro lens like that. I mean, the tags are small. You really can't tell it's that bad and you put them side by side like this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope some of you guys found this useful. Look forward to doing more videos. Please reach out to me if you need anything. Good luck and have fun creating. Thank you.